Hey everyone, this is Alicia Costanza and welcome back to my channel. Today is a little different angle. This is my 2023 bullet journal. It's also a little bit different color than what I'm used to, although for some reason I am starting to like orange. I am going to flip over to my 2023 goals and have a chat with you about what I'm planning to do this year. So. Here is my spread for 2023 projects and goals. And I broke these up via project. I have 11 projects or themes or categories or however you want to look at it in my journal. This worked for me fairly well to focus on last year. So I'm doing it again, although I didn't get everything done. I got a lot done last year, so I'm going with it. You see, I'll start up here at the left, top left, my reboot series. So I finished my first reboot book last year in... Oh, April and I need to edit it. I want to publish it on Bella. I want to try that. It is a serial poster with episodic chapters and stuff like that. I would like to draft Rosie which would be the sequel to my original reboot story. Edit, publish, and then I have a short story, Pebblin Fang, and then planning another story, Ash. So those are all things that I want to work on this year for my reboot series specifically. Will I get all that done? Who knows? But if it's not on there, it ain't probably gonna happen. So my next project or goal is a living them both. This was a project for 2022. I did not finish it, but I made a pretty good dent, like 45,000 words pretty good dent. So I feel like I only need 25,000 more words to go. I obviously need to read through it, edit, beta read, fix my cover, format it, make a blurb and publish it. I want to finish and publish this book next year. That's what all that means. There's more things that are going to be broken down in there, but this is the overarching goals for that. This is a series I've been working on since technically since I was 17 when I wrote the first draft of the first book that I scrapped and wrote five more times. However, it has become this really big thing. I have six books out in this series. Loving Them Both is actually part of this series, but I have other things I need to do within the world that are shorter that I'm putting over here and my big one, my big finale. Ryan Eli, I started that last year. <laughs> I got 84 words into it or 89 words into it or something and I haven't touched it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with it. And Demos was also supposed to write this last year. It didn't happen. I want to draft, plot, draft, edit, prep and publish, Broken World or Blood Phoenix number five, which is the last of my Blood Phoenix saga, which involves my <laughs> full vampire, half phoenix, half human, and other stuff imprinted with a leprechaun, a seven foot tall leprechaun. Thank you very much. Anyways, this is the first book I ever published was in this saga of the Broken World series. Like this is the series that launched Broken World, launched me as a writer. So I want to finally finish Rhea's story. I have people waiting for it. I took a three year break from it and I really just th these two if I could finish these two up I will be a happy camper and get those series done so I can move on to other projects I will miss them but it's it's time y'all it's time I also need to do Mark and Ari and Vinny and Nani in those shorts I don't know if I have any other shorts that really need to get done after this year so if I could wrap up this part of the Broken World series I'd be happy there's other stuff like I have a whole seri siren series that I want to write within this world that I can't get to because I'm still writing this one so I have the first book in that done though kind of first draft written I, it needs work anyways we're gonna go down here because this is still writing. This is other stuff. This is writing. I have four writing projects. My Lishki shorts, which I did last year. I did 12 of them last year. I plan to do another 12 of them. And these are just some ideas, really. I have some series started that I want to do the next one in. I want to rebrand a series that be, kind of became its own thing in 2022. Another series idea. That, yeah, that's that's what those are. I want to keep working on all those stories and keep publishing them. They're 5,000 words each. It's not a too much of a drain on my creativity. Plus it's fun to have things to switch between and have a goal set for every month specifically to get something out and keep Lishki present, Autumn Lishki present on Amazon and in readers' minds, keeping people buying, providing more backlisting. Because sometimes someone will come buy one and then they'll buy all the rest of them, which is nice. That's what that's for. Okay, not quite writing related although i might be doing some writing for this which is not definitive yet but we talked about this last meeting but i work for i love vampire novels and we're doing a reading challenge this year we are going to relaunch the book box this year we are launching the book club pretty soon we want to push reviews for authors do an author build and i know she mentioned wanting to focus on readers so we'll see what happens there i'm pretty excited to help her rebuild her community and create connections and like actually bring everybody together versus just emailing like kind of book bub does so 
we'll move on over here to this other page. Freelance work. I did a lot of advancements this last year in freelance work and the year before getting a freelance job to begin with, freelance editing was amazing. It was a hurdle I never thought I would be able to overcome, but I, I hurled it, hurdled it and then I gained three other new jobs that are also freelancing. So I have things in here that I just want to work on or that I, I'm projecting working on freelance wise. A B and B series, the K and K series, air series, articles, ebook, nonfiction a month, that's something I'm gonna still have to build, and then a schedule. I really need to build a schedule to kind of keep myself in gear. And that's something actually I'm gonna fast forward you to my first week here because I'm trying something a little new to help me with this. And that is this I changed out my lines here. So it's work and my work what my workout is and then what my focus for that day is and trying to make certain days into certain types of tasks. Is this always gonna be possible? No, but that's that's what I want. That's what I want to do. So that's the plan, at least weekly for that. Okay, freelance work. It's pretty stable. Just plan on working on these, etc. Family. We started doing game nights. I really enjoy that. Want to keep doing them. Movie nights once a week. I also think would be nice. One, it gives me a break, and it also gives me some time to spend with my family, which is nice. My mom's birthday trip. So my mom lost her husband last year. I lost my stepdad, and it's been really hard on her. It's been really hard on me as well. But obviously way more on my mom being alone in that house and so for her birthday since it's a milestone it's one of the first that's going to happen without him i'm going to be up there in new york and we're going to do something so that's what that i also visited in october so those are my two trips i want to read with jason either my stuff or other stuff because we enjoyed listening to the murder bots together because they were short and interesting and it kind of got him into audiobooks a little bit i'd also like us to get massages and then to find a regular cleaning schedule is one of my major things things that I really, really need to work on because I do not clean well. I do not, do not like to clean. So yeah, we need, if I can have certain things set in certain times in a schedule, I feel like I'd be better. I like, I like lists. I don't know how to explain. I'm trying to trick myself into cleaning essentially. Okay. Won't belabor that anymore. Money is another goal category. Pay off my credit card. I'm pretty close. I'm pretty fucking close to this. I'd probably be able to do it next month or the month after. Saving for a house. We've started saving for a house, which is excellent. I want to build a little bit more before we jump into it to have a little bit of buffer. Lower the monthly payments by having a nice down payment. We're not required to have a down payment because of our status, but yes. I need to learn how to do quarterly taxes so that they don't get me at the end of the year and I'm paying them and I get, I essentially get all of the money back because I don't make, I, I'm under the poverty level. So that's something I need to learn. My profit loss, I started this this last year for a financial thing and I want to keep up with it this year. It just seems smart. I want to keep up with my manifesting money. I haven't been, but I'm going to restart it. I'm not going to do the backlog. I'm just going to start fresh again. Uh, where I left off and yes we're gonna manifest some money because it put me in a better mindset about money this last year and I've you know I've, I found it helpful and Etsy to continue uploading Etsy yesterday actually I spent a good chunk of the morning uploading three new listings on Etsy my 23 before 2023 spread in my tabletop games both of them my writing game and my TBR game are available for download and use so yay for that then we have health biggest category for me because I need a lot I need to do a lot of things I kind of want to focus it sounds strange but this last year I focused on publishing writing publishing writing publishing just getting getting there getting work making money etc I want to focus on my health this year in regards to I've already been building up my workout schedule like I'm pretty consistent on that right now I'm consistently drinking more water I'm consistently eating less food Yes, although sometimes eating less food, that food's not still great sometimes, but the this, this slow progress, the slow progress is happening. Definitely need to increase my stretching. I have so many tight muscles, so many cramps and stuff. It's ridiculous. But the, the bottom three are probably the biggest new additions. I want to meditate in whatever way that happens to be. I used to lie on the ground in corpse pose and like think my way through relaxing each part of my body. I did this in yoga class in college. I found it helpful. I want to do that again just to help me relax. Unwind at the end of the day. Maybe I'll sleep better because of it. I also want to journal because I think again this is going to be excellent for my mental health. I'm stressed out all the time. I let emotions like run me sometimes and then I push them away and don't address them because I have too much shit to do. So I really want to journal to help get some of some of that stuff essentially off my chest without burdening anybody because it's not something like they're not things that are really important they're just things that i beat myself up over and i need to quit 
So we're going to do that. And the final thing on this list is doctors. So I have several things I need to do for my health that I have been avoiding. I haven't been to a doctor in a long time, female or otherwise, and I really need to get things checked out. Mostly I need to get my cholesterol down, and I know that, but I also need some lab testing done so I know all the details. It's only going to cost me under $300 for all the testing locally, not at my doctor's, and I can bring that to my doctor to talk about things, but I can also do research on my own for options. And essentially that's what the whole thing is. I need to just take better care of myself. That's what that is. Okay, market. Marketing. I need to keep going with my emails. I need to build up my emails again in my Broken World community because I have like 5,000 subscribers that I haven't been talking to for a couple years. I need to get back in the habit of that. I need to find content that is actually worthy of me putting out emails and not just trying to stick to a schedule just because. I'm like that's Yes. Okay. I also would like to build emails in my Lishki email as well. I only have nine. I need to do some email boosting campaigns or something like that. I need to update my website, my Broken World website. It, it just it just needs to happen. Amazon ads. I want to try Amazon ads with my Broken World Rebirth story because it's the first one in the in the five book series, the one that I'm going to hopefully write this year, write and finish, hopefully, 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 hopefully this year. But I really feel like it would do well with Amazon ads where my erotica did not. I also want to do BookBub ads for that because I do think I can get the number of reviews. I have 14 at the moment and they're, pretty, they're all pretty good. So maybe I can get that done. I want to learn reels. I also need to learn TikTok. It just, it's unavoidable. I've seen so many people have success with it and I just need to fucking do it. And then I want to create my Wooing the Alpha series physical box set. There's other things I want to do with this guy, maybe within all of that marketing skill, but I have a completed, I have a completed series. It's 14 books. It's out. They're all published. Now I just need to market it as a completed series and get reviews and sales and etc. I need to figure that shit out. Finally, skills. SPF University. This is one of my marketing courses that I bought. I just need to finish going through it, honestly. I don't know what's taking me so long. I want to build my own store on my website, which means I need to build multiple of them. I will learn how to use the damn saw. That's it. Just want to learn how to use the saw and learn how to build things and stop being so damn scared of cutting off my fingers. I want to learn a little bit more about food photography because I want to build a cookbook. I've been wanting to do this for years. It's time. Okay. Now, briefly, I went through all of these already, but this is what it looks like kind of spanned out over the year. Now, these numbers look high and they are. They are high. 25,000 words in a month is not not doable but still pretty high. This last year I wrote, spoiler alert, what averages out to 16,000 words a month completely, like with my Lishki shorts and my regular writing. Some of these are up to 30,000 words in a month. 35 in that one. Oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? 35 in that one as well. It really depends on life. It depends on the stories. It depends on my creativity. I am hoping that I can push myself to do, just to do more and to get all of these things done. If I don't get all of these things done, that's fine. Like, it's not the end of the world and I'm not gonna beat myself up over it, but I like to push myself because otherwise I won't get anything done. So there we are. You can see I got myself all planned out. And uh, I'll actually fast forward you to, this is my quarter one project goals and tracker. So this is me breaking it down just a little bit further. And you can see I wanna, I mentioned I wanna do other stuff with the Alpha. I wanna get those audios done. I've recorded number one. I wanna edit it and see how it turns out. But you know, needing time to do those things and then recording audio, needing silence to do those things. It's not always easy to come by. But we are going to give it a try this year. We're going to figure some of the things we've been avoiding figuring out. We're just going to figure them out. Uh, I got some planning stuff in there you don't need to see yet. And then there's, there's January. This is what we're doing for January. I tried not to completely overload myself. Notice they're not all full. They don't need to be full. But yeah, here we are. And we're on to week one. It's January 2nd. Welcome to 2023. Those are my goals. I also want to read 100 books this year. Definitely, definitely doable since I do about eh, do roughly 140 to 150 a year generally. So, all right. Thank you so much for being here and looking at my goals with me instead of at my face. And uh, look forward to me breaking down 2022 into my writing and my reading in my general how I did with my goals. And uh, yeah, that'll be later this week. Before I go, let me know what your goals for 2023 are. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.